take a look at these two TVs playing Avengers Infinity War. Guess which TV is bigger? If you said TV A, then let me turn on the lights and show you that these two televisions actually have the same screen size of 85 inches. It's just that the TV on your left is displaying the IMAX enhanced version of Infinity War on Disney+. Plus, With the main advantage being the expanded aspect ratio, which lets you see up to 26% more picture, and less of the top and bottom letterbox bars compared to the regular widescreen presentation. After doing some side-by-side -side comparisons of Disney Plus IMAX Enhanced versus regular 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, my first reaction was just to dump all my Marvel 4K Blu-rays that are now available in IMAX Enhanced on streaming. Let me show you why. With the IMAX Enhanced presentation on Disney Plus, you are genuinely seeing more of the picture without any need for zooming in or stretching that could degrade the image quality. Because of this expanded aspect ratio, you can see additional tidbits and trivia that have every chance of making their way into our UK government's Christmas quiz during lockdown. For example, in this scene from Avengers Endgame, did you know that the two people standing behind Pepper and Morgan as they watched Tony Stark's holographic farewell message were Captain America and Thor. There's no way I could have known in the regular widescreen version. In Infinity War, as Bruce Banner was trying to hulk out in the face of combat, the IMAX enhanced version showed him rubbing his hands and clenching his fist. Actions which went missing on the regular widescreen version, thus reducing the comedic effect. During T'Challa's coronation ritual in Black Panther, Forrest Whitaker's assistant was actually holding a spear, as revealed by the IMAX enhanced presentation, whereas it was cut off on the widescreen version. Now, there are many such examples throughout the 13 IMAX enhanced titles on Disney+, Plus, where you can see more picture information. For instance, Doctor Strange, Time Stone, and Tony Stark's arc reactor quite early on in Infinity War. However, Quite frequently, you can tell that the shot was composed for scope, because there's inevitably too much negative space in the IMAX enhanced version with taller aspect ratio, for example in Captain America Civil War. Also, the different framing and composition actually changes the mood conveyed by the shot. Close-ups are more revealing and intimate in the widescreen version, and generally more aloof in the IMAX enhanced presentation. In this back and forth between Captain America and Winter Soldier, their faces somehow looked bigger on the widescreen version, even though technically the size is the same as the IMAX enhanced presentation if you discount the extra space afforded by taller aspect ratio. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned here on how to make things appear bigger. Note that on OLED TVs, very high APL scenes may actually look dimmer in the IMAX enhanced version with expanded aspect ratio, since it's easier to trigger OLED's automatic brightness limiter circuitry as more of the screen is being taken up by bright elements. That said, where the IMAX enhanced version really shown was in large scale battle sequences, filling up more of the screen real estate to deliver an epic larger-than-life immersion that simply couldn't be matched by the regular widescreen version. As an avid supporter of physical media, it really pains me to say that at the time I filmed this video in December 2021, these IMAX enhanced Marvel movies are only available exclusively on the Disney Plus streaming platform. The expanded aspect ratio is not available on the 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays that have been released so far. Furthermore, during one of the many side-by-side -side comparisons I carried out, I noticed that the IMAX enhanced Dolby Vision streaming of Black Panther using the TV's internal Disney Plus app looked brighter and punchier than even the TV-led Dolby Vision output from the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray when displayed on two calibrated LG C1 OLED televisions, prompting me to investigate further. But before I share the results, I would like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Since the pandemic started, some streaming providers have throttled the bitrate of certain shows, especially in Europe. 
resulting in a softer picture with more compression artifacts. This is where a VPN comes in. Surfshark allows you to stream content from another country without needing you to be physically there, so you can watch Netflix at higher bit rates with better picture quality. You can also get more content that's not available in your region, perhaps the US Netflix library which contains more movie titles. For less than the price of a Big Mac per month, you can use Surfshark on as many devices as you want in your household, all at the same time. There's 24-7 live customer support, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and there is a special deal too. If you use promo code HDTV test, you'll get 83% off and 4 extra months free. So sign up today and give Surfshark a try. I'll put the link in the YouTube description below. Thanks again for your support. Ok, curious about the different brightness of IMAX Enhanced versus 4K Blu-ray Dolby Vision presentation? I played the IMAX Enhanced version of Black Panther on the LG C1 on your left and the widescreen version on the LG C1 on your right, both from the internal Disney Plus app. As you can see, the IMAX Enhanced presentation consistently looked brighter and more impactful than the widescreen version, even though both were in Dolby Vision, and the difference extended to the scoped portions throughout the movie as well. To rule out any problem with the individual television units or calibration, I then swapped over so that the TV on your left was playing the widescreen version while the TV on your right was playing the IMAX enhanced version, and the brightness difference persisted. The IMAX enhanced presentation was still brighter than the regular widescreen one. Finally, I played the IMAX enhanced version using the internal Disney Plus app on both televisions, and the picture finally matched, confirming that for some reason, the IMAX enhanced stream of Black Panther actually had a brighter APL or average picture level than the non-IMAX enhanced version. Fortunately, we did not see any such discrepancy on other IMAX enhanced titles we analyzed. The APL looked similar between the IMAX enhanced and widescreen versions in Avengers Endgame and Captain America Civil War. At the end of the day, these Disney Plus titles being available in expanded aspect ratio is great news for consumers, but by making them exclusive to a streaming platform, presumably to drive subscription, it leaves us wondering whether it's even worth buying Disney or Marvel 4K Blu-rays anymore. Don't get me wrong, I still very much prefer the superior bit rates and audio quality delivered by 4K Blu-rays but these benefits are dwarfed by the expanded aspect ratio that can be seen easily from afar, allowing viewers to enjoy a bigger picture and a more immersive viewing experience, all without needing to spend more money on buying a larger television. In addition, OLED owners may take this for granted, but because there's less of the top and bottom letterbox bars in the expanded aspect ratio, LED LCD television owners are less likely to see greyish letterbox bars and blooming or hallowing artifacts when watching IMAX enhanced titles on Disney Plus. Furthermore, certain Disney Plus titles offer extras and featurettes that are not even available on disc, and when you consider the cost differential between Disney Plus, one monthly subscription fee and you can basically watch all you want versus 4K Blu-ray where you have to shell out at least 10 quid a pop for each title. Maybe that's why recently there's always some sort of promotion going on for Disney 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, even for the latest releases. You may have noticed that I haven't compared Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings in this video. That's because I don't see any point in buying the 4K Blu-ray with only widescreen aspect ratio anymore not when I can watch the whole movie in expanded aspect ratio on Disney+. Plus. And that's not even taking into account the fact that most movies are available in Dolby Vision with dynamic metadata on Disney+, Plus, but only in vanilla HDR10 with static metadata on 4K Blu-ray, a situation which prompted me to carry out a side-by-side -side comparison to find out which format is better, 
So go watch my comparison video here.